टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस ऑफ कंसंट्रेटेड सोडियम क्लोराइड बट इन दिस केस मकी इज यूज्ड एज कैथोड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स सी आयोनाइजेशन ऑफ कंसंट्रेटेड सोडियम क्लोराइड सॉल्यूशन सोडियम क्लोराइड सॉल्यूशन that is it contains water sodium chloride ionizes to sodium ion and chloride ion at the same time little amount of water ionizes to hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion that is sodium chloride solution contains two types of cations and two types of anions now let's see electrolysis of concentrated solution of sodium chloride when mercury is used as cathode let's see in detail let's draw an electrolytic cell or electrolysis of concentrated solution of sodium chloride will be done first of all u shaped tube is taken or mercury is introduced here this is mercury which acts as cathode that means it will be connected to negative end of the cell short bar indicates negative end of the cell and long bar indicates positive end of the cell and here anode will be metallic bar or simply carbon rod this is anode it may be carbon rod this wire up to the level of the platinum this is plastic covered but inside the mercury this is uncovered oil here on the mercury water is taken so that this mercury cannot be vaporized like this and here concentrated solution of sodium chloride is taken here that is this solution contains cations sodium ion and hydrogen ion and anions chloride ion and hydroxide ion anions will move to anode but here hydroxide ion is at the lower order than chloride ion that is why hydroxide ion is supposed to reduce first but as the solution is concentrated concentration of chloride ion is very high that is why chloride ion will move to anode and the reaction at anode is chloride ion will donate electron to anode and chlorine atom will be formed another chloride ion will donate another electron and another chlorine atom will be formed these two chlorine atoms combine together to form chlorine gas 
so chlorine gas is produced at anode which can be collected from the anode end now let's see reaction at cathode there are two types of cations that has the tendency to move towards cathode again hydrogen ion is at the lower order than sodium ion that is why hydrogen ion is supposed to reduce first but sodium ion has greater tendency to mix with this metal mercury that is why sodium ion will go to mercury cathode and receive electron from here to form sodium metal this sodium metal combines with mercury to form sodium mercury amalgam this is the difference here sodium ion has greater tendency to mix with mercury to form sodium mercury amalgam which is taken out that is sodium mercury amalgam this sodium mercury amalgam is treated with water to form an important reagent sodium hydroxide and again mercury is separated so from the electrolysis of concentrated solution of sodium chloride when mercury is used as cathode then at anode chlorine is obtained and at cathode sodium mercury amalgam is obtained from sodium mercury amalgam important reagent sodium hydroxide can be prepared as mercury is connected to negative end of the cell that is why this is negatively charged and anode which is carbon rod is connected to positive end of the cell that is why this is positively charged anode will attract negatively charged ions and cathode will attract positively charged ions this is all about electrolysis of concentrated solution of sodium chloride when mercury is used as cathode no more today thank you very much